Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico, and today I'm just going to show you a little bit of how you can record some of your at, um, sorry, some of your Clash stuff and any other games and other, such you'd like to record on your iPhone. So yeah, um, the first one I'm going to show you is for iOS 7 and iOS 8 users only, and that's going to be the um, recording method iRec. So for this one, you're going to go to Emu for iOS. Or you're just going to actually Google that. I'm just going to Google that because I can't remember if it was .com. I believe it was .com. Yeah. Or no, .net. Sorry. My bad. Anyway, it's the newer version of the site, um, I know City or something like that. And so you head down to that, and if my Wi-Fi works, yeah, here we go. If you head down to that, you've got this little thing. It's a game controller, and you hit the install button. It'll come up with a little pop-up that tells you, or asks you if you want to install it, so come on. And since I already have it installed, I'm not going to install it, but you hit install. If it does not work, you're going to want to go into your settings and set back your um, date. I think one or two days. Try I'd try two days first if it doesn't work one. Um, also, if that doesn't work, you're probably going to have to head back um, at a later time and try to download it because it's quite possible that people are going to... Um, be downloading this at that time and it's going to lag out the page so that is one way you can record your stuff um, and that's the way I actually do my stuff the other one is for iOS 6 users and that would be going down to e I mean I emulators so later or my bad I'm a clasher not a speller so you go down to I emulators it is only for iOS 6 users, as far as I know. Um, now, here's the thing. For this one, it's a little bit different, because you're going to have to set your year back to 2012, which isn't great, but it's still nice to have anyway if you really want to record stuff on an iPod 6 or something. So, oops. Sorry, I'm on budget Wi-Fi, but anyway. Um... So what you're going to want to do is go down to either record my scre screen right here. This is the one that gives you options to turn in on and off your sound that you're going to record. I like this one's app look better, but I think actually the second one right here, which is record screen, um, actually might be better. But for either way, what you're going to do is you're going to hit download. It'll come up with the same thing as for the Emu for iOS store. Um, I'll show you how to get iRec from the Emu for iOS store in a second, but... So you're gonna hit download, install, and then you go straight to your settings and set your date back to 2012. Once it's at 2012, you need to have your app, um... Have it... It'll download probably within 30 seconds. Um, then you go into the app and open it, keep it open for a little bit, close it, go into your settings. You can set your da date back to, um... Sorry, year back to 2014. And you will be able to um, record using that app. If it doesn't work, then you can just set your year back to 2014. I mean, 2012. I'm sorry. Um, and it should work again. So the only thing with that is you're not going to be able to use the App Store unless you have the correct year on. Okay, so for the Emu for iOS Store, um, it shows a bunch of different stuff right in here. You've got your iTransmission tethering, iHas app, file browser, feature points. Emu for iOS Store Beta, you don't want to get that because that's exactly what you're on already. But the thing you want is the iOS, or the iRec Beta. So you go right in, it shows the description, blah, blah, blah. You don't really need all that stuff. What you need is to hit install, and you can let it install. I already have it installed, of course, because I'm recording on it. So you hit install, and it installs right there. Um, for this one, like I said, you have to set your date back if it doesn't install one or two days. Um, yeah, but anyway... I hope this helps. Maybe you guys can send me some of your raid videos that I can feature on my channel. And so i really love to see some of those great raids that you guys have. Um, I'll probably put some dubstep music or something to that if you guys send it. Or possibly now that I've got um, a better video editing app called Fly, I can actually put some commentary into it. So, yeah, anyway. Until um, next time, that's it. So, peace.